So one trick that I found in my study manual that I thought was pretty neat and could potentially be useful on the exam has to do with the force of mortality if it's been broken up into the sum of two de Moivre forces of mortality. Um, and what happens is if you have a force of mortality that's broken up into a sum of two de Moivres, um, like let's say for example you have the force of mortality for x is 1 over 120 minus x plus 1 over 100 minus x. So hopefully you can see right away that this by itself would be a de Moivre distribution with limiting age omega is 120. Um, and here, same thing. Uh, this would be the force of mortality for a de Moivre distribution with limiting age 100. So what you can do is if you're looking for a survival probability, it's going to equal the corresponding, it's going to equal the product of the corresponding TPXs for each of these forces of mortality. So like let's say for example you're trying to find the probability that a 50 year old with this force of mortality survives at least 10 more years. And 10P50 would be the product of the 10p50 that corresponds to this force of mortality, or in other words, the 10p50 that follows a de Moivre distribution with limiting age 120, and the 10p50 that follows a de Moivre distribution with a limiting age of 100. So we know that this is going to be 120 minus 50 minus 10, which is um, 60 over 120 minus 50, which is 70. And here, 10p50 is going to be 100 minus 50 minus 10, which is 40, over 100 minus 50, which is 50, whatever that is. Um, so, and if you don't see where I got the 10p50s, um, knowing that it's a de Marva distribution, you may want to watch my video on the de Moivre distribution. So I hope that you find that helpful.